Hi, Robin with OxyDry. And today um, I am doing a commercial job, and I've actually done this uh, particular carpet for years now. And as you can see, overall it's actually looking in really good condition. No signs of any um, buildup of soiling, even though um, OxyDry has been the only method used on this carpet for many years. I've been cleaning it for, I think, almost 10 years now. Um, and it's in good shape. As far as soiling goes, um, there's one big water stain over watered plant. You can probably see it off in the distance over there. Um, <laughs> the uh, lady that let me in told me that she had overwatered the plant and it leaked all over the place. So you know, we'll be dealing with that. Um, this is the only real issue in this place. This piece of carpet is delaminated long ago from being under the wheels of the chair and uh, I think they actually normally have a plastic sheet over this anyway, uh, a chair, a carpet protector thing, so. Um, but overall, the carpet's actually in really decent shape. And uh, this will keep me occupied for maybe a couple hours. I got a set of stairs to do as well. Uh, and, uh, but other than that, um, as I say, I've been doing this for years. And today I'm using my um, Hawk two-speed machine. I don't use it very often, but this is a good opportunity to put it to work. And uh, well, I'll just do that flip there. I just poured a little bit of solution, and then I'm to get the pad wet on the down on the downside. So now I'm gonna, that's why I flipped it there. And uh, connect her up. I can I could feel it just drop right into place. And oh yeah, it should be uh right there. Alright, let's give it a try. And away with oops, gotta turn on the valve. There we go. Okay. I think I need to raise it slightly. Okay, and away we go. As you can see, this uh, machine actually has a mighty tank on it. And uh, these are really good tanks, so if you're looking for a, a, a nice tank for your machine, the mighty does make this tank with the, has the lid on it, has a, there's actually a drain hose, that, or a fill hose that goes in there, slides in there, and there's a drain on the back as well, and it's a really good, really good setup actually. Uh, I don't think they're all that expensive. So, uh, I definitely recommend that. Let's go to high speed. There we go. So when I'm using this machine, of course, now that I'm at a 300, a 175, 300, so at uh, 300 RPM, which is that now, it's doing, uh, well, I guess it's 175 at the low speed. So it's doing over 100 RPMs more per minute. So that's a lot more, you could say, cleaning power. <clears throat> And applied to the carpet <clears throat> and of course I am shower feeding I have not pre-sprayed anywhere and when I maneuver in, in uh, tight areas hang on a sec there you go <clears throat> I typically will go to a slower speed just to be uh, a little more careful I guess you could say <laughs> and I'm uh, just using an Iron Man pad <clears throat> and I'm intermittently feeding it it's not you know that was not all the time you can see my my finger there And this job doesn't take very long because I've been cleaning it for so long, it uh, cleans up very easily and quickly. And there are, other than that big water stain, there are no, I already did a walkthrough on it and there's no stains on it that I could see, which is usually the way it is. They're quite careful in here, I guess. So 
Alright, so just get out of here. Head on down the hallway. I managed to pick this um, rotary up for a couple hundred dollars from a guy that uh, had, uh, he basically closed his business down and uh, he was selling off uh, all of his uh, equipment, etc. So uh, I bought, actually bought two rotaries off him, two uh, two-speed rotaries, as well as uh, my um, US product CB3. So uh, I didn't pay a lot of money for all this equipment. I did sell uh, the uh, other rotary to my friend Roger. So it gets used quite a bit. He has two of these uh, machines now. I sold him the first machine that he got. I had actually had an older one. And so I sold him that one. And then I sold him uh, the next one as well. And he operates in a town uh, about an hour and maybe an hour and a half away from me. He's, uh, I've interviewed him a couple times on my on my channel. You've met him if you've been watching my videos. So, oh, let me show you something here. I'm gonna. So rather than rather than uh, <laughs> um, use the lever and put the handle upright, I want to stop for a sec. So I just let, lean it on the door jam there and pull the slack here and. I think I'm about there. Good. That should work. So that's a little, a little hint. <laughs> you don't have to always, you know, undo your lever and raise your machine and lower it back down again if you just lean it on something. Careful when you do that. Make sure it's on something good and solid and it's not going to roll away on you. So this machine has a safety lock right here. All right, so uh, as I mentioned, this carpet does clean up very well. And I've been doing this for years. They're always happy with the results. I'm a little bit concerned about that big water stain uh, that I have to deal with because um, it was obviously uh, very dirty water that came out of the plant and got on the carpet. And it's really quite a serious looking stain. So. I've already pre-treated it, and it's with Omega Citrus, and uh, hopefully by the time I get there, it will be uh, easy to get out. We'll see. I don't think I'll be videoing that portion. There's actually someone in the office here with me, and I don't generally like to video when there's people around. <laughs> so... Uh, slow it down a little bit. Now one of the advantages of a two-speed is the fact that you actually have a little more cleaning power um, when you're using one because another hundred or so um, RPMs translates into uh, basically more cleaning energy being applied to the carpet. So that's something to bear in mind if you're looking at a, at a rotary, buying one. Although, if you're new into the business, my recommendation would be uh, start off with the Swirly from the NCAP store because, well, they're a little bit lighter than this would be. Although, this isn't that heavy, and I'll get to that in a sec. But um, the other reason is that it does have the big wheels and comes with a tank. And um, that would be a good machine to start with, I would say. But if you have an opportunity to buy one of these, especially if it's a good deal, you know, like I paid, like I said, I paid uh, 200 for this. Well, that was a steal, really. But as far as the weight goes, uh, typically a, a two-speed machine will be a little bit lighter. Although, this, okay, the swirly is about 60 pounds, so that's another advantage of the swirly. Whereas most rotaries are about 100 pounds, some a little bit more. And I would never recommend getting one that's a more than 100 pounds because that you will regret <laughs> when you're picking it up going up and down steps in customers' homes. Whereas the Swirly is about 60 pounds, so that's why I, certainly for a, a new guy, I would recommend going that route. But 
the two-speed machines aren't usually lighter because they don't have the start-up winding, whereas a normal rotary has a capacitor start and it has an extra has extra winding in it that um, for the start-up phase of the the motor, whereas the uh, these machines have carbon brushes in them, and so their torque comes on a little bit differently, so they don't need the start-up winding. So a little bit lighter. I think this machine is around 80, 80 pounds, maybe 90 at the most. So it's not bad actually. I just I, I had to carry it up the steps into this job, and it's it's not bad as long as it's empty, of course. So uh, here we go. So I wanted to talk a little bit about marketing. I was actually talking to my brother yesterday, and I did a I just posted a video where we did an interview, but we've been talking about marketing. And uh, if you go over and watch that video, there's a little bit of a we talk a little bit about some history of marketing that I've done and our family um, as carpet cleaners have done in many years past. And I want to just emphasize something for you guys that are um, using VLM, uh, particularly if you're using either rotary or an OP. There are three things that need to be front and center in your advertising, in your marketing. So, and what they are is... You need to emphasize the three things that are the greatest weakness of your uh, main competitors, which will be steam cleaners. And the three weaknesses that they have is dry time. That, the three things, if you ask somebody, a customer who's had their carpet steam cleaned and aren't happy with it, there are three things they'll say they're not happy with consistently. One is the dry time. Two is stains that reappear. And three is uh, rapid resoiling. And part of the reason for that is that most steam cleaners, most carpet cleaners actually, don't pre-vacuum. And uh, so that contributes to the problem. But then a lot of these guys, uh, particularly if they're trying to market, as it were, uh, the lowball pricing, they're all about upselling. And if the upsell is not happening in particular, they will generally try to get through the job to the next one where they can upsell <laughs> because um, they're not I'm uh, speaking in a general sense I know there's not everybody does this but uh, oops <laughs> oh there's something on the on the ground over there hang on a sec so I'm going to stop and there it's a, the plant is dropping its leaves here so I'll just pick that up didn't notice that when I came in here with the vacuum. I just did it around over there. <laughs> anyway, um, so the, um, the, the, the th things that you want to emphasize is that um, the dry time, and you don't just simply say you're fast drying because everybody says they're fast drying, including the steam cleaners. And so that's uh, not a not a not a clear enough marketing statement. What you need to say is how fast you drive. So you need to have in your marketing and your advertising and in your speaking to your customer, dry time is normally uh, about an hour, and it should always be about an hour, and rarely, rarely, very rarely should it be more than two hours. And if you're not getting an, an average dry time of about an hour, then you're, 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 you're cleaning too wet with your rotary. Now, I, uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I am very much a believer in using a tank and shower feeding. And I've talked about that in the past. But uh, it does give better control over the uh, application of your solution and uh, it works just fine so um, 
the dry time, you need to make sure that you have is your bullet points. First, uh, you, first of all, you want to have dry in about an hour or dry in 30 to 60 minutes. Now, that doesn't mean you always are, but that's, that's just a typical dry time. The second thing you want to talk about is uh, stains don't return. And have that in your another bullet point. That when you clean a carpet and the stains come out, it's rare for them to reappear. And that is the case as long as, again, you're doing it right. You're not over-wetting them. And uh, you're using good quality cleaning products. And I would always recommend professional products. Don't be a bathtub chemist. Don't be mixing up concoctions that are um, not going to give you the performance, particularly the long-term performance, like uh, these proper end capping products do. Ah, I knew that was about to happen. No problem. Good sturdy metal chair. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, they want to emphasize that the stains removed don't come back. And one of the things that we do is we actually have a 30 day warranty, which is pretty much unheard of in this industry. Most guys will at the most give a, well, if you have a problem, you know, give us a call within a week and we'll deal with it after that you're on your own. <laughs> But you don't have to do that. We have to, uh, have a 30-day warranty. And I'll tell people, even when there's bad stains on the carpet, and I'm thinking, oh, they might come back. I'll say, look, if they come back, you know, let me know. But, you know, wait till the 30 days have, have, have gone by. And then give me a call, and I'll be glad to come by and touch it up again for you. Uh, and I rarely, rarely, rarely have that happen. But when, I, when you tell people that, you know, they're just so impressed that you will... Um, give them that kind of a, a guarantee, as it were. Um, so I would definitely recommend that you do that. A uh -huh. little piece of uh, the plant. <laughs> and um, so that's the second thing you want to emphasize is that stains removed do not return and give it a give a 30-day warranty and the next thing is um that the carpets stay clean and don't just say say that they stay clean longer say they stay clean up to three times longer because they will particularly if you've done a free vacuuming and you're using a good quality cleaning product you know product from bonnet pro which is where i get my products or product from end cap store or um Oh, what's the other one now? Back away. Use prof professional cleaning products and you're going to get professional cleaner results and performance. And those are the three number, the three uh, points that you need to emphasize in your advertising and when people call you on the phone. Those are the things that you need to be saying to people. So if somebody calls you up, now listen up, young uh, young uns. <laughs> Somebody calls you up. The very first question they will ask you, in almost every case, is, "How much do you charge for?" Yada yada yada. So your answer is, "Here's my price." Your answer is, "Well, before I tell you my price, let me tell you what our cleaning process will include." And then you start from there, and you say, first thing we do is we're going to give your carpet a very thorough pre-vacuuming, which is standard and proper operating procedure when we clean your carpet." Now, very rarely is anybody else going to do that. Most of the steam cleaners will say, well, I don't need to vacuum because my truck mount is so powerful, it sucks all the dirt out of the carpet, blah, 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 even though they know darn well that that is not IICRC approved carpet cleaning procedure, and yet that's what they do. So you tell them you give it a very thorough pre-vacuuming, and while you're doing that pre-vacuuming, you'll be affecting the carpet and pre-treating all the spots and stains that you see prior to actually cleaning it so that it will be easier to get them out and more effective getting them out. That will impress people. So that's the first thing. Second thing is you tell them um, 
that you're going to give the carpet a, either a fire creek cleaner or whatever, whether you spray it on or apply it with the tank like I do, and you scrub it in using a fiber pad or maybe you use a brush. If you're watching my videos, you know that I always, almost always use a fiber pad, but you're going to pre-scrub in the cleaner with that. And then the second step is going to be you're going to go over the carpet with your soil extraction transfer technology pad, SEP pad, STTT, and that will extract pulling the soil up and out of the carpet fiber by transferring it up into the pad, the special pads that are made specifically for this purpose. And uh, and then and that'll remove the soil out of the carpet fiber without washing any soil into the vacuum because steam cleaning is pressure washing and you're not going to pressure wash the carpet. You're going to extract the carpet fiber without washing any dirt into the bottom. And that's one reason it stays clean longer. And uh, then after you finish that step, you're going to uh, groom the carpet. And in my case, I almost, almost always uh, groom with my vacuum. So it gets vacuumed beforehand and after. And you can certainly do that as long as you're not applying too much moisture to the carpet when you clean. And, uh, or you groom it. And then uh, when you're done, uh, the carpet's dry normally in 30 to 60 minutes. And then you say, and oh, by the way, price today, or pricing now for a living and dining room hall is, you know, say, $150 if you're flat rating, or if you go by square foot, which I actually recommend, you'll make more money, I guarantee it. Um, our minimum is whatever your minimum and uh, whatever the square feet works out to at so many cents per square foot we're 59 um, you will make more money and you'll have much more happier customers and in most cases you'll find uh, you will book your job you won't get them all you'll get the ones you want and the ones that are always looking for the cheapest price will always look for the cheapest price so that's how we do it, and that's what works. So in my 27 years of doing this, plus, I don't know, another 15 years doing other methods, if you go back to my video I just posted with my brother where I talk about our, a little bit about our, about our history, I've been doing this, I mean, our family has literally been doing this since the 70s, so we know how to make the phone ring. We know what works, and uh, and this system, is, is, is a talk, we're talking to my brother, I mentioned it, this is absolutely the best way to earn the most amount of money. Uh, simple, easy, effective, reliable, uh, lowest overhead, simplest operation. So, I guess I'm pretty much done this section. I'm going to turn off the video and then I'll be doing this over here. And maybe I'll video that spot over there when I get there. So, anyway, I'm going to let you go for now. So... Thank you for watching and uh, have a good day.